Hi, my name is Greg Powell, President and CEO of Five Plan Partners. Thanks for joining today uh, in regards to our topic, anxiety and the markets. The reason I'm doing it is that this past Monday, if you go back and look at our portfolio strategies vlog, you'll see that we address topics like the election, COVID-19, unemployment, what's happening in the economy, what's happening in the markets, how does it impact your portfolio, and why did we do that? Because we're hearing from people who are saying, I'm having a lot of anxiety and stress with all this information that is bombarding me and trying to figure out what really is impacting me. The point I want to make to you today on this educational vlog is that in my book, Better, Richer, Fuller, I talk about anxiety. And the reason I talk about it is it's where I see so many people miss out on their financial goals. I'm a big believer in our process, Your Financial House, and that everyone should have a financial blueprint to help them guide towards their goals and dreams regardless of what's taking place in the economy and the markets, to have a long-term plan. You would never build a house without a blueprint. You would never give your money to a builder who wasn't going to use a blueprint. And you talk about being anxious. If you did, now there's some anxiety wondering if the house is going to be strong. My point to you is, is that by doing a financial blueprint and in our Your Financial House process, we have a process called ASK, A-S-K, Anxiety, Strengths, and Knowledge. And we want to ask questions and understand what anxieties are keeping you awake at night. We want to understand what strengths you're really confident in that you can use to move forward in your life. And the K stands for knowledge. What knowledge do you need to eliminate the anxieties and free you up to utilize your strengths? So for example, let's ask questions right now. In other words, through all of this that we've gone through in 2020, you may be asking the question, suppose I lose my job. Am I going to have enough money to retire on? You know, I'm in retirement years. Am I going to outlive my assets? You may be the young parent that says, if the kids have to be educated this fall online, how does that impact our double income house with one of us having to stay with the kids? Suppose you're thinking about, if I lose my job, I may have to start a whole new career. Can I transition with that? I've got dependent parents I need to take care of. I have a special needs child. How do I do that? You know, how do I continue to make sure that my whole financial life and goals are intact as I move forward in trying to navigate this 2020 year? Those are the kind of questions we ask. Now, understand this, and I talk about this in my book. Anxiety is worry with anticipation. You're worrying about something that hasn't even occurred. Within the Your Financial House process, to have a financial blueprint tied to your portfolio, your money, here's what happens. Anxieties are those events that nine times out of ten will not occur once you have the knowledge that gives you confidence to confront the fear. Can I afford to make this decision in my life right now? How much money do I need to be setting aside in my 401k? Is now the right time for me to retire? How am I going to pay for my kid's college education? All of these questions can be answered from the standpoint of running different scenarios, hypotheticals, doing worst case planning so you can see the rippling effect of a decision you make, as well as from the standpoint of even doing those situations that if you get blindsided, you can have the confidence and knowledge in knowing that you've collected all the data to move forward and make that decision. And guess what? Not once have I mentioned market fluctuation. Not once have I mentioned market volatility. Not once have I mentioned election and COVID and those kind of things and what it's doing to you. Because you know why? At the end of the day, if you had to choose between the S&P 500 index or your dreams and goals. If you had to choose, which hand would you pick for your money? In my 38 plus years, people have always picked dreams and goals. That's what's important. The S&P 500 is going to fluctuate. It's going to bounce around. But if you know that you're on track and by using a financial blueprint and looking long term and the effect of what's happening around you and that could impact you, you can determine if you're on track to reach your dreams and goals. That's the message I want to give you today. 
would love for you to, to read my book, Better, Richer, Fuller, to understand our your financial house and how it can work for you. I hope this has been beneficial. I hope you share it with someone who's really nervous and anxious as well. And I hope that throughout the rest of this 2020 year, that you can remain calm and receive the knowledge that you're on track and you're going to get through this. Have a great week.